You've got a tune to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online at kexp.org, and we're streaming live video today at kexp.org. You can also find a link to that live stream at KEXP's Twitter and Facebook accounts, and we're super excited to have Benjamin Booker and his band live today. Welcome. Hey. Such a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, we're excited to be here. It's our first time in uh, Seattle. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you so much for making time to visit us on your first visit. Yeah, of course. Well, let's just get to it. We'd love to hear live music. It's Benjamin Booker live on KEXP.
was amazing. Benjamin Booker live on KEXP. The new album coming out on Tuesday, playing tomorrow night at the Tractor Tavern. You mentioned with the districts. I realized I haven't even seen them yet. There's been so much great live music I've seen lately. I'm dreaming about bands that are coming up. They play uh, at Music Fest Northwest in Portland this weekend, but we've been playing a ton of the districts. They put on an incredible live show. We played uh, with them at Forecastle Festival, and they just like destroyed the crowd. It was, <laughs> it was really cool. Well, what a great combo. Your live set is amazing, as I just said, and we're so happy to have you here today playing tunes. And I hear you're going to play a song called Wicked Waters next from the new album. For you. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to fish. I, I fished for that one. <laughs> All right, yeah, this song's called Wicked Waters. This must be where I lose it all, darling. Throw myself into Wicked Waters. Booker live on KEXP, a new album coming out on Tuesday, playing tomorrow night at the Tractor. And it, again, it is so wonderful to have the three of you here today. You sound incredible. You're out of breath. <laughs> what job well done. <laughs> I know that uh, you have had such a wonderful response to the songs and the live shows that you've been playing. And I understand you've actually only been a band for a couple of years. Can you tell me a little bit about your musical background and... 
Uh, How long have you been playing together? How you came together? Yeah, I mean, uh, I I started playing in New Orleans uh, in 2012, maybe like May. Uh, and I did solo shows for about a year. And then uh, last summer, I started playing with Max, who who's the drummer over here. And then uh, Alex just joined in April. So, I mean, I guess as like electric shows, it's been about a year. Yeah. You mentioned, do you still, I know you've been on the road for so long playing so many shows, which has got to be wonderful. And you mentioned that you started playing in New Orleans. Is that where you live when you do get to go home for a while? Yeah, yeah. We're based in New Orleans now. We're all originally from Florida. Uh, and then uh, a couple of years ago, I moved to New Orleans and then Max moved out there uh, last year. Yeah. There's such a rich culture of music there. Is that what drew you there? Uh, no, I, I got a job uh, working out there after college. And so I, I moved out just to, to have something to support myself. Yeah. You mentioned you're from Tampa, and I know your record comes out Tuesday on ATO Records, and I heard that someone from the label was lucky enough or maybe smart enough to go down and see one of your early shows. Is it true that they just grabbed you and uh, signed you right on the spot? Or Well, I mean, we, he didn't uh, pull a, a <laughs> Not that contract night. out of his pocket. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he. I mean, we agreed that night. It was like a, a good thing, yeah. Were you already working on a record then? Uh, no, I mean, I had a pretty much all the songs written i guess but uh i don't know we we didn't i didn't know it was going to happen with them at all <laughs> they're just uh 10 songs that had lying around yeah it's a great record and uh, i understand you went to nashville i'm not a musician myself but i know that it's an analog studio where you went is that what drew you there i know you have friends and label mates that had recorded there as well yeah yeah i mean i wanted to record analog uh i thought it would make us uh, work faster which it did we, we had like six days to record the album so it was like a quick uh in and out kind of thing and yeah there's another band uh from new Orleans called hooray for the Riff Raff that had recorded there uh and i saw it and i was like oh that's i mean their record sounds good <laughs> let's do, it. Let's do it. six days sounds fast did you improvise while you were there did you with such a short period of time did you have to kind of go in with a plan or what what did you have any expectations no, I mean, uh, we had rehearsed, I guess, for a while and like uh, had been playing a few live shows. Um, and then when we went in, we didn't really have any notes or anything and like had never been in a studio together as a band. So we had no idea what it was going to sound like. It was it was really just like a, the producer press play. And then we just played the songs like we did live. That was pretty much it. Yeah. Well, it's a fabulous album. It comes out on Tuesday. Benjamin Booker playing tomorrow night at the Tractor. And we would love to hear more music. Sure. Happy Homes? The song's called Happy Homes.
Benjamin Booker live in the KEXP studios. The three of you sound and look amazing together. And uh, you've been playing a ton of shows, playing some festivals, and I know you've been playing some of the late night shows. I saw you on Letterman in May, and Paul Schaefer joined you, and he looked like he was having the time of his life. Paul Schaefer is the man. I love that guy. <laughs> yeah. He, um, I imagine that uh, being on live TV, and I think that might have been your uh, TV debut, must be kind of nerve wracking. Are you able to even enjoy it? You sounded no, un- not no. at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> You sounded amazing, I have to say. Thank you, yeah. I mean, it's really terrifying. I, like I said, uh, we just started like uh, last summer, really. So within less than a year playing Letterman is like, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But you love it, right? No, yeah. I mean, you got to do it. <laughs> we felt great afterwards. It was like, just like, you know. It's like bungee jumping, right? Yeah, it's like bungee jumping. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot more of that ahead. I know you've been doing so much and going on tour with tons of folks. You mentioned the districts, Ray for the Riff Raff. I know you played some shows with Jack White. I love him. I know you seem to have a, a similar musical passion uh, for that he does, a little bit of the similar aesthetic. That must have been very fun. Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, it, uh, we probably in the last like few weeks watched like t- 20 hours of Jack White playing. Yeah. I mean, it was just like uh, going to school, you know. You, we sat on the side of the stage and, like, watched and, like, took notes. Yeah, it was great. What's coming up for you guys in the next, uh, I want to say, year? You probably got a lot a lot scheduled already. Just toying, toying, toying. Yeah. Day by day. Day by day. So our listeners around the world will have opportunities probably to see you in their hometown. Oh, yeah. We're going to be everywhere. What do we, we have like a year, the album hasn't come out yet. Yeah, we got like a year and a half maybe left of touring. Yeah. Well, maybe we should mention that. The album comes out on Tuesday. We've been playing it here on KEXP. It's wonderful. It's called Benjamin Booker. And uh, I think you got one last song. It's true, I do have one more song. <laughs> you want us to play it? All I right. do, I do. <laughs>
<laughs> well done, well done. It's Benjamin Booker live on KEXP, the new album coming out Tuesday, August 19th on ATO Records, and you'll be playing tomorrow night at the Tractor. Yeah, come out. And then heading down to the Doug Fur, which is also a wonderful venue, and enjoy your time here in the Northwest. Yeah, this is all new. Every place we're going to over here is new. It seems to be pretty beautiful and awesome, so we're, we're loving it, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad. We love it, too, and it's great to have you here. Thank you so much. Come back soon. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.